guys, it's your girl Rose. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am back with another van life vlog. And the last few weeks I've been parked in and around Los Angeles. So it's really been like van life in the city. But now I'm headed for a little camping getaway for the weekend to a place called Lake Kachuma. And as you know, van life in nature is completely different from van life in the city. So I'm really excited. I heard it's this beautiful, tranquil lake with little trails. And I think it'll be very relaxing. Um, we just filled up gas. By we, I mean me and Jupiter. That's my travel companion. So we just filled up gas. We're about 30 minutes out and we're gonna get there well in time to explore a little bit, relax, and then make a campfire because I've bought some steaks and sausages and baked potatoes and I'm gonna cook that over the fire and it's gonna be a delicious dinner. I'm so excited. So let's get going. Stopping by the Kachuma Lake General Store to top up on firewood. I have about two big logs, but don't want to run out in the middle of cooking. That would suck. We found our parking spot, our home for the next two days. You know what I freaking love about van life? You can just pull up to a freaking campsite and you're there. Normally you have to like set up your camp and your tent and it's just such a pain in the butt, but I'm about to make this fire. Let's get started. Mm, okay, just kidding. I just realized it'll probably be around two hours until I get to eat and I'm really hungry so I'm gonna just make myself a little snack first. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called PBJ with a view. That's right, porta potties. I never officially learned how to make a fire, but here goes. Making a fire is hard work, but it also makes the meal all the more rewarding, you know? It's like, yeah, we're working for it. Working for our food. I mean, I bought the firewood, but you get the picture. I'm like really getting into cheetah print these days. How cute is that? What are we grilling? Sausage, grass-fed steak, vegetables. Ooh. Okay, this is hard work. Okay, didn't exactly cut the zucchini that great, but <laughs> when you're hungry, nothing matters. It turned out pretty well. I'm not a grill master, but this does look edible. And Jupi, yes, you will get a piece. Hot, 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 hot. I finished all the meat and vegetables. It was delicious. And the potatoes were not ready yet, so I'm just getting to them now. And here is a perfectly baked potato. The steak was the first course. The potato is like 
dessert. Yes, steam hot potato. Oh yeah, doopy creeping as usual. Mm. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering what that poster is in the background, that is a K-pop girl band called Itzy. My friend's 11 year old daughter gifted this poster to me because I was asking her like, who are the hot K-pop girl bands these days? Since apparently the only K-pop girl band that I like really know about these days was Blackpink. And apparently according to her, that's so five years ago. So I felt very out of date. She brought me all up to speed. Itzy is a very popular girl band these days. There's also I've twice, La Seraphime. So anyway, I feel really up to speed on all things K-pop. If there's any other bands that you think I should check out, let me know. But anyway, that is the backstory behind that poster. So I'm all showered and clean and wearing my brand new PJs from Lunya. They are washable silk and they were a bit of a splurge, but honestly, I feel so amazing when I go to bed in them. So I know it's quite bougie to be wearing like silk PJs in a van, but it makes me happy and I sleep really well in them. Um, I'm going to take out my cookies and ice cream and have a little bit of a dessert, maybe watch some vlogs on YouTube and then call it a night because it's been a long day. Good morning! It's a beautiful day here in Lake Kachuma and most of my neighbors have left so I kind of had this whole campground to myself almost. So I'm gonna move the van to one of the better campsites, one that doesn't have a view of the porta potties and then we're gonna go swimming. Gorgeous view. for yourself. That was a nice nap. It's so rare that I take naps, but I should really do that more often. So it's about six o'clock right now, and I have 
some time to kill before dinner, so I think I'm gonna try to film a reel or a TikTok, whatever you wanna call it, and then I'm gonna start making dinner. Whoa, recording reels is hard work. I am so hungry. I chilled a little bit to watch the sunset and now it is time to make dinner. I'm gonna make denjang jjigae, which is a Korean dish. It's like a really traditional yummy hearty stew and it's gonna be really good. So the stew is cooking and it's starting to smell so good. Cannot wait to eat, but while it's kind of going, I just wanted to have a little chat. So I've had the best time solo camping this weekend. It's been so relaxing and healing. And I just wanted to say yesterday when there were a lot of people, all the sort of neighbors around me, my camp neighbors, I noticed a lot of families and couples, really not that many solo people. And I could have maybe felt bad about myself, you know, like I'm, I'm a solo female traveler. I don't have anyone to go camping with. But for anyone who is single out there, you know, in their 30s, I know this is sort of the time when all of your friends start getting married and having kids. And if you're sort of the only one in your friend group that hasn't done that yet, let's really enjoy this time because it will never be like this again, you know, like young and single and free, just enjoying time on your own and exploring yourself, your hobbies and what makes you happy. Like that is really special. I mean, eventually I do want to have a family and find a life partner and settle down and whatnot, but we will never get this sort of stage in life back again. So rather than wishing that we had a partner and that we had a family and that we had kids already and all that, like not enjoying where we are in life right now, I am choosing to fully embrace this and just fucking have a blast doing things alone. Of course, I'm not always completely alone. Like I do have friends and of course I travel a lot with my dog Jupiter. He goes with me literally everywhere, but you know what I mean. And it's nice to know that I really enjoy spending time alone. Like I like myself and that's a good place to be. After years of massive change and nomadic life, I'm eager to start nesting and finally have a place I can call my own. I found my dream home in Mexico City two months ago, but I actually haven't been able to close on it yet due to some paperwork that just hasn't come through yet. I was supposed to have moved in by now, but you know how government bureaucracies can be. It's frustrating, but I'm making the best of it, living out of my camper van and taking it on fun and relaxing adventures like this one. Like we talked about earlier, let's just enjoy the present moment, making the best of wherever we are in life. I'm in this awkward limbo period where I really want to settle down and move into my new place, and I don't currently have a place, so I'm just sort of floating around in my van. It's a little bit awkward and sometimes uncomfortable, but I'm truly embracing the fact that life is not a destination, it's a journey. So let's enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I love you. Remember to do something nice for yourself today and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.